have some money. I think what I'll do is, I think I'm going to buy the first five books that Instagram recommends to me. So this is not a totally original idea. I saw Books and Lala do a version of this video and she took the idea from Sophia who's been doing this kind of video with everything. But I'm making it my own because number one, I don't have Sophia or Books and Lala YouTube money. So I'm not buying these books, okay? I live in New York City. I have access to the greatest public library in the country probably the greatest library system in the world. There is no reason for me to buy five books that I don't know anything about when I could check them out at the library for free. So this video is me going onto the library reserve and reserving the first five books that Instagram showed me. But first we have to pick out the books, right? So a quick, or let's face it, not so quick scroll on Instagram. And I have these recommendations. Best Day Ever by Kara Ruda, The Humans by Matt Haig, The Woman Who Had Two Navels by Nick Joaquin, Motherest by Kristen Iskandrian, The Dry by Jane Harper, and Dust Tracks on the Road by Zora Neale Hurston. Okay, so that's six. I need to pick five. It's the library. I'm gonna splurge. I'm gonna get all six. <laughs> Just for comparison, I'm going to add these six books to my Amazon cart and see how much money I'm going to save by going to the library instead of buying these myself. So best day ever is $13.49. Add that to my cart. The Humans by Matt Haig is $9.12. I'm going to add that to my cart. That's $12.23. That is $10.99. Paperback is $8.99. So we add that to the cart. And checkout is $71.92. You wanna see me do this video again. This time I buy all the books that are recommended to me, the first five or first three or whatever. Go ahead and subscribe. Help me to make my goal to become a monetized YouTube partner. And if I make my goal, I promise you guys, I'll do this video again where I will go to Instagram and I will get the first five or first three books that Instagram shows me and I will buy them sight on scene. But for now, let's uh, delete all these items <laughs> and check these items out from the library instead. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I guess I'm welcoming myself because you've always been here, but I'm back. This is Karen from the future. Three days ago, I filmed the first part of this video and I told you about the six books that I was going to check out from the library. The first six books that Instagram showed me when I opened up my app. And I got the first three. And I'm going to try to do a little vlogging so I'll share with you how the books go when I'm reading them. Stick around for that. <laughs> so I think I've been waiting for this day to come. A sick day. Not in the way that you might expect, but I have these five books to read. I kind of wanted to do a little readathon where I read all five of the books, just one after the other. And I've been so busy that I haven't been able to set aside time to think about doing a readathon. But I'm sick. Not sick to the point where I want to sleep, but probably too sick to really do anything. Like I have a cold, I think I might have the flu. I can't be out in polite company. So I guess I'm just gonna stay at home and read these books. So I have Best Day Ever, The Woman Who Had Two Navel. I have Dust Tracks on a Road by Zora Neale Hurston and The Dry by Jane Harper. And I don't remember what the fifth book is, but I'm sure I have it here someplace. So I'm gonna start reading those books today and I'll, I guess this is the beginning of a five book readathon. It's probably not the kind of thing that you should do when you're sick, but I am drinking tea and I'm in bed so why not I'm starting with best day ever which let's face it today's probably not gonna be my best day ever because I am having a cold but I like the way the book starts morning 9 a.m. it is just before 9 a.m. right now so this is my first book that I'm gonna read best day ever by Kara Ruda 
I'm 22 pages in, and so the story is written by a female author, Kara Ruda, but the book is from a male perspective. This is a male main character. He's married, he's talking about his wife. He's 45, his wife is 33, and they have this neighbor named Buck, who he's kind of hinting that he's not sure whether Mia and Buck are having conversations about other things than just gardening that book is that book claims to be an expert at so right now he's laying the groundwork he's telling you about his parents having died he's hinting that there are issues in their marriage they have two boys they sounded like they wanted to have another child the wife is a little resentful of the fact that they didn't try for another another child she wanted a daughter the way they talk to each other their conversations are aligned with some passive aggression but it also is setting up the fact that something is going to happen and we're not going to be sure who the aggressor and who the victim because of the way they describe each other one of the things that's really interesting to me about this book female character writing from a male perspective so i'm at page 50 in best day ever um, paul has been just talking about his wife and we've been lulled into this version of her being this young, naive housewife. But just now, Mia, the wife, she shocks him and he's like flabbergasted by her sudden burst of confidence. And so are we as the reader. And so we know that something's going to happen. And so now we're no longer sure whether Paul is a psychopath or Mia. Instagram did say this would be the best day ever. So it's a little after one o'clock. And I finished reading Best Day Ever. It's a first person narration, this psychopath named Paul Strom and his wife. He has this plan where he's gonna take his wife to their lakeside cottage. But over the course of 300 or something pages of Paul bragging about all those stupid things that he's done to manipulate people, all the crimes that he's committed, you start to believe some of what he's saying, so you really don't think Mia is as clever as she kind of wants to give herself credit for. And you also don't like some of the choices that she's made. But it was an interesting read. I'm giving this about three and a half stars. Of course, there were things I didn't like about it. I'm going to let some of those settle, and we'll talk more about it when I do a closer book. But now, Best Day Ever continues. I was going to pick up the dry, but I think this is also a mystery. So I'm going to leave that one and I'm going to pick up The Woman Who Had Two Navels and Tales of Tropical Gothic. So I just read the first story from this collection. It's about three generations of a family, an old man who's dying, his adult son um, called Monzon, and his grandson named Chitong who's studying to become a priest. The only thing that marked this story as one that was set in a very distinctly patriarchal society was the way the men treated the women. So I'll have to see what the other stories do in terms of bringing out that Filipino setting that I'm looking for in these stories. Giving up on this one. I read the second story which is about a wretched wanton. It's about this man who is a soldier and he's evil but he's respectful of religion so when he finds out that he's going to be deployed he asks this woman who dresses the virgin mary in the in the church to pray for him and because of her prayers he's shipwrecked but he doesn't die immediately he's able to make a confession and die in peace i get the overall gist of the story i just don't really like the writing so i think i'm at least I'm gonna stop. I might come back to one of these stories later, but I read two stories. I'm not really feeling like this is what I want to read now. So I'm moving on to thriller number two. I'm reading The Dry, a man who's a police officer. He works in financial crime unit, I suppose. He's just returned to his hometown because his childhood friend has died apparently murder suicide he seems to have shot and killed his wife and child i am feeling a little bit better I took a shower change my clothes mm -hmm. sometimes that helps still congested so the day off readathon is still going on i'm still gonna be here reading and we'll see how it goes 
we'll see whether reading is therapy. But about halfway into the dry, there's another uh, mystery that's being investigated. There is a cold case that happened when the man who was suspected of killing his wife was just a teenager, their 16-year-old friend drowned. So that mystery, as well as the death of the man, his wife, and his child, are all being solved kind of together because it seems like the people in the community are still uneasy about that having happened so many years before. It is a little slow in parts. I'm at page 172, but I'm hoping to finish this. I took another nap and I'm ready to go again. <laughs> so I finished with this one as well. I don't know if I'm getting better or if I'm getting worse. It was about 330 pages of mystery and it felt like it, but I could see why Instagram recommended this book to me. Some of my favorite authors, like Leanne Moriarty, are Australian. I'm gonna now turn my attention to Zora Neale Hurston's Dust Tracks on a Road, which this was as dusty as they came, the dusty outback of Australia. And now we're getting back to the United States. The dusty southern experience of Zora Neale Hurston's early life. So the sick day readathon is continuing because as you can tell from my voice, I'm not better. Okay, so I'm back. I've changed my mind. I'm going to be reading this one. The Humans by Matt Haig. This one is probably a little bit easier to read right now because of my mental state. So this is a book that would probably show up in the recommendations for me because of the science nature. I don't read a lot of science fiction, but I am interested in science in general. So I will just have to see if this is as quirky and funny as it promises to be. The story is about a professor named Andrew Martin who's just solved the Riemann hypothesis about prime numbers. However, at the moment he solved it, his body was taken over by an alien because by solving this mathematical equation, he's put in motion a chain of events that is going to change humanity. And these aliens can't allow that to happen. I'm giving this introspection about humanity uh, four stars, somewhere between three and a half and four stars. I found it really entertaining. Um, it wasn't as laugh out loud funny as other books that I have read like this, but I thought it was more heartwarming as, as this cyborg-like character started to understand the complexity of human relationships. The only book I have left now to read from my stack is Dust Tracks on a Road by Zora Neale Hurston. I know why this one was chosen for me, even though I haven't yet read her more popular book, which is Their Eyes Were Watching God. Zora Neale Hurston is an author that I've wanted to read for a while, and I do interact with a lot of people who are doing the reading blackout this year, which means that they're only reading books by African-American authors. This is almost 300 pages of her autobiography. So I'm gonna end my little sick day Instagram recommendations readathon by reading this one. 300 pages or so of memoir is gonna take me a few hours. So I guess you'll have to wait until I do my closer book or my month end recap to hear exactly what this book was about. But this is how I'll end the readathon for now. So that's it for this video. These are the five books that Instagram showed me and I reserved from the library to read based on the fact that Instagram had showed them to me. I gave this one three and a half stars. I gave this one four stars. I'm still reading this one. I gave this one four stars and I'm also still reading that one. So that's that's it for this video. Leave me a comment down below if you liked this video or if you've read any of these books and you want to chat about them. And we'll talk soon. We're going to have our book club discussion for The Sellout by Paul Betty on 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time on Thursday. We should have done it last week, but again, with the flu, I just couldn't get that video together. I just couldn't sit down for an hour to do a book club talk. So we'll do it this Thursday. So thanks for watching this video. If you want to see me do more videos like this, where I get recommendations from somewhere and read the books and let you know what I think about them. Go ahead and leave that comment in the comment box down below and we'll talk down there. So until next time, happy reading. Bye.